Hi, my name is David Welch. I'm coming to you from Brothers Tech Center today to show you how to put back together a door in a 64 Chevy pickup. Now this is going to be basically the same for almost every single year truck there is. So if you don't have a 64, this is still going to be good for you. Before you get started, you're going to want to line up your ducts. You want to check out all your old parts and see what you're going to need. Typically, if you're doing your window, these little wheels right here will be broken on your old regulator. If you're going to be replacing your door latch, a lot of times the relay is bad too. Whenever you're taking everything out, your felt normally gets messed up, so it's a good time to replace all your weather stripping at the same time. Make sure you've got all your ducts lined up before you get started with the job, then I'll show you how to put this door back together again. Okay, the first thing I'm going to install is the door latch because I can't get it in once the glass is in. Uh, this is your regulator and you're going to need to attach that right here because you can't do it once it's in. Before I install this, I'm going to get just a little bit of grease and I'm going to put it on all of my movable joints without getting too crazy. And then we'll attach this here. So that'll attach there. This will slide right in. And we'll bolt this up first. Just get your screw started. Don't get one in and then tighten it all the way down tight because it might twist the door or the regulator in a position you won't be able to get the other screws in. So get all your screws started first and then when you tighten them down just snug them up until they're all tight. Now on my relay right here you'll note that there's slots that the screws go in. So we'll be able to move this forward and back. We're going to leave this adjustment until we're able to shut the door and check it and then we'll go ahead and button these down the rest of the way. Okay, so here's your door handle. And what you want to do is have it lay comfortable, tighten it up, and then make sure that you can lock the door when it's pushed down or open the door when it comes up. So we'll it's in the right spot. I can tighten it up the rest of the way. If for some reason it's not locking or popping open, just move this around until it's in the right position and you'll be good to go. So with this set, I can put in my window regulator. Again, we're going to apply grease to any moving part, especially our wheels. This is the number one thing that goes bad on your window regulator. So make sure these little wheels have good grease on them. I'll get it greased up somewhat now, and then I'll even put more on once I get it in. So, this is going to slide in right here like this. And you'll want to note that this wheel right here is pointed in towards the door. There's a channel right here that this wheel is going to ride in. You're going to make sure that wheel gets into this channel before you bolt it in. There's no adjustment on this, so you can tighten it up. Again, don't just grab one and tighten it all the way down. Get everybody nice and snug first, so nothing gets bound up on you. And then go around and tighten. Now you're ready to install your glass. I put a little bit of tape on the top right here just to um, save our paint and our glass. When you're going to be doing this, we're going to go ahead and roll our regulator all the way up to the top. And now you can see your wheels are all the way here. 
I'm going to get my glass, and normally I install it this way, but I'm going to install it this way so you can get a really good view of what I'm doing. I'm going to put it on my first wheel first, and then we'll slide the glass forward. Then we can bring this down and slide it onto the rear wheel. Now I'll roll the window down some. I'm going to be sure to hold on to the glass at the same time uh, because it will fall off the wheel sometimes when you're doing this. So we're going to bring this down and we're going to roll the window back and down so that I can put in my vent window here. On the vent window, what you want to notice is that you've got all of this down at the bottom that's just itching to scratch up your paint. The trick on that is that you have little indentations here in the door. So you'll want to take the vent window and you're going to want to turn it at a 90 degree that is going to fit the best about like that. Now I can take this and slide it up all the way here and I can get my screws and screw this guy in. Again, we're just going to be putting them in lightly so we can still move things around if necessary. I'm going to let that be for just a bit. I'm going to move my glass all the way forward and I'm going to go ahead and put in my back channel right here. That's the piece that goes right here. You'll notice that there's a 45 degree bend here and that this is straight. I like to get the 45 degree right at the top. So this is going to slide in. I'll need to bring my glass back up. Put this in. put it in, make sure that that channel has the glass in the middle, that it's not on either side. So here I'm just um, using a Phillips head screwdriver to help me line up the holes so I can get my screws in there a little bit easier. This also does not have adjustments, so you can just go ahead and tighten it. I'd probably tighten up all of the little screws on here first, however, so that we have this pulled up all the way up and forward, then I'll be able to tighten the ones on the bottom. But if I do the ones on the bottom first, and then I try to tighten these, it won't allow it to move into its ideal position. All right, so now I like to uh, get even more grease on all of my joints. I don't like to grease it up too crazy when I'm putting it together because it just makes it a greasy mess. So we'll get it mainly installed and then we'll just put a lot uh, on everything that we can get our hands on. And then once I'm all greased up, I can go ahead and stick in my weather stripping. When I do that, I'm going to put my back one in first. We'll roll our window all the way down. And what you're going to want to notice on this rubber right here is that it has these serrations right here. So those cuts, what they do for you is they make it so this bends nice and easy in the corner. You're going to want to make sure that this piece right here is butted up all the way against this. A lot of times you'll get a gap right here and that's going to cause the whistling noise that drives you crazy. So we'll install this and we'll really jam it up towards the front and make sure we're getting good contact there. I'll roll this all the way in, get it to my corner, and then in the bottom it takes a little bit of uh, dancing to get that in. I'll fold this up and then I'll slide this in. And I'll feed it through the bottom. I'll roll my window up and down as necessary to get my hands on wherever I need to. So once I get the top of this basically set in and flush, 
I'll roll this down a little bit more and I'll try to get it into the channel right here. So these plastic spatulas come in handy. They're not as uh, sharp as a screwdriver and they're less likely to do damage and they can help you get these little areas in here. Once I get that set about there, I'll roll the window up and then I'll finish putting the channel in the bottom. With the window rolled up, I can get the channel felt and get it right into position. So we're almost done. All we need to do next is install our whiskers. What we're going to do first is we're going to make sure that these clips right here are lining up with the holes in the door and also make sure that the door didn't get messed up when you took out your old one because it typically will get warped and stuff. So you'll have all those straight first. And this is going to tuck in behind the rubber strip that you just put in. So sometimes what I'll do is I'll just shave off a little bit of this felt right here to help it slide into there a little bit better. Then I'll get my little spatula here. I'll put it in there so that I can spread this back a little bit and then I can go ahead and slide this in a little bit easier. I'm going to get lined up with my clips and obviously the window is going to be rolled all the way down. I'm going to get this just kind of set into the strip holes and I'm going to use my plastic spatula so that I don't scratch up my glass or anything. I'll get it to set in there pretty much where it's going to go and then I'll just push in until I hear it go click. Sometimes um, what I'll do is I'll even put a little bit of silicone on those just to help it set in and not rattle in the future. And it's going to take a little bit of playing with so make sure you got your tape at your top and you're protecting all of your paint and your glass. So with the one side done, I'll do the other side and we'll be all ready to roll. There you have it. It is all done and working like a dream. Just going to clean off these fingerprints and we are set to drive. Be sure you check us out on our Facebook, our Instagram, and subscribe to the YouTube channel because I've got a lot more helpful handy hints for you.